Hello everybody, I'm Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at some brand new news. That's right, Kingdom Commander Rodimus Prime has been revealed by Takara Tommy via Amazon Japan. And today we're going to take a look at some pictures. Here we have, all wait, on, over here, no, no, over here, no, ah! Anyway, we're taking a look at the AllSpark.com because, quite frankly, they have the best pictures. Now, before we get into anything, I need to apologize for the audio quality. I'm still trying to figure out this setup. I'm currently using OBS on a really old computer, and it works fine. It's just the audio sucks. So I'm trying to edit the audio as best as possible. I'm probably going to have to move to another machine, but... Unfortunately, right now, this is all I have, and to get this stuff up quickly, this is the best option I've got. So sorry. First up, we're going to take a look at is its combined vehicle mode, and this is okay. It's not as cohesive as the Titans Returns figure is, or as DX9 Carry has been in the past, but it's fine. It, it's not exactly the Space Winnebago that we've had before, but... It's more of a traditional tractor-trailer motif, and I think it works well. It is a little bit odd proportion-wise. I can't lie about that, but I do like it. And speaking of weird proportions, here is the car mode. Now, this car mode is supposedly an upscaled or a redo of the 86 Studio Series 86 Hot Rod, which I have right here. And the alt mode looks to be exactly the same in the front, but then different in the back. And there is actually some precedence for this in the show. In Season 3 and in Headmasters, you see Hieronymus drive up, the little bit of cab section comes out, and then he transforms. Yeah, it's weird, I'm not going to lie. This is kind of antithetical to what we've always thought of Hieronymus being. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Uh, it has been confirmed. Well, that's not true. It has been theorized that this is a heavy, heavy retool of this guy. The wheels are different just looking at it. I, I don't know. I hope it's bigger than this, though, because this is a deluxe class figure, and I want a bigger version. I'd rather this guy be scaled up to Voyager class and then the trailer connect. That'd be cool. First images of his robot mode show him with his gun. It is his classic gun from his Generation 1 show and figure, and it looks like he's got some effects going, which is nice. I appreciate that. But the coloring, I've got to admit, the coloring on the figure is perfect. It's a much deeper orange than we've gotten with Hot Rock, which I greatly appreciate. And they actually got the legs right. The legs are supposed to be black. Sorry, the bottom legs under the knees, from the knees down, are supposed to be black not this weird off-brown. I think it looks okay. But what, look, what looks even better is the sword he comes with. He comes with the Sword of Primus. Now, in, now comic book fans will note that he, or I should say Hot Rod, was given two choices, either the power of Primus or the knowledge of Primus. I think I've done that right. I'll have to double-check with Proto Man on that one. But he obviously chose power in this respect. So yeah, that's the Sword of Primus right there. That's a nice deep cut reference. Finally, we've got his battalion section. Battalion mode. He's got a big artillery cannon there. And if you notice, way at the very bottom of the artillery cannon, there's some treads. So I bet this whole cannon section can, can decouple from the whole trailer and drive around and shoot fools, which would be very cool. I'm not crazy on the ramp pointing up. I really hope that that ramp section can fold down some more. If it can't, oh well, it's not that big a deal. But one thing I am looking forward to is taking a bunch of the other Autobot... Shoot, I forgot what they're called. Anyway, uh, like Hot House and um, Grease Pit and, you know, those guys and just making like a little battle station slash repair deck out of that. So I'm looking forward to that. I am looking forward to this figure. I think this figure is going to be cool. I hope it's a decent size. I'm really kind of worried about that. I just hope it's bigger than Hot Rod, because even though I love Hot Rod, I think Hot Rod is a great toy, 
I really want this to be bigger. I want it to be more along the lines of DX9 Carry, who is the best Rodimus figure I think we've ever gotten, third party or first. Titans Returns Rodimus Prime is a close second or third, but this is still my go-to for a Rodimus Prime figure. So folks, let me know what you think of this reveal down in the comments. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and please be sure to follow me over on Twitter and Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Bob Atrix. Bye!